All right, hello, welcome everybody to lesson nine two about tangents. Um, I know you can probably see the uh, the bowl of popsicles behind me, and uh, when we're done, you maybe can have one, but I hope they do not distract you. But uh, show of hands, who's uh, who's excited about this lesson? Uh, good, about seventy five percent of you. That's not bad. Um, so let's start off by remembering what is a tangent. A tangent is a line segment or ray that intersects a circle at exactly one point. So it's like the it's almost like as if the circle is resting on the line or the segment or the ray. Um, now, there ends up being two important things that happen with tangents, and we'll jump straight into it. The first thing, tangents or tangent segments are perpendicular with the segment that contains the center, like radii or diameters, which, of course, contain the center. Um, so, in other words, tangents are perpendicular with radii, is the, the shortest way of saying that. So, if AB is a tangent line, and yz is a radius, therefore it contains the center, um, then what do we know? That, that ab is therefore yz, and we end up with a couple of right angles. So that's, that's the, uh, the, the theorem there, that's, the, that's the, the news. So what does that do for us? Well, let's go straight to example A. Uh, if line rs is a tangent, and um, pr, of course, is a, a radius, it contains the center, so um, how can we solve for the length of PS? Well, there's a right angle there. That's what we just talked about. Those are perpendicular. There's a right angle. This then creates a right triangle. So the length of PS, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. If you know your triples, you're done already. The answer is 13. Um, yeah, just get to use the right triangle because, well, there's a right angle. Um, this one is similar in design, but uh, it's a much, much uh, different piece here. Uh, check this out. X is here. It's a side of a right triangle. There's a right triangle because we got a tangent and we have the uh, the radius. But uh, eight is is that the hypotenuse? Is this going to be x squared plus twenty one squared equals eight squared? Does that make any sense? I hope you're saying no. Eight can't be shorter than the twenty one over here. What's missing? We got to figure out what y b is. All we know is what a b is. We don't know what y a is. Well, here's the kicker. 21, yz, that's the length of the radius. And what's true about the radius of a circle? Well, it's true for every radius in that circle. So ya is also equal to 21. So 21 plus 8 gets us 29. So x squared plus 21 squared equals 29 squared. The, the key of that is that this piece is 21, so then we add 21 plus 8 to get our 29. We can solve. The answer ends up being... Um, 20, there's another triple, 20, 21, 40. A little bit more rare, but there you go. All right, so that's really kind of it. You end up with a bunch of right uh, angles, but see if you can then answer uh, these questions. I'm sure you've paused it, but if you're needing a clue, um, this is an angle. So you end up with a shape, which hopefully you can figure out how to get that measure angle right there. Uh, this is a quadrilateral, um, or you could divide this into a couple of triangles. Um, either one of those can help you to get those answers, but here they are. Okay? Come prepared with questions if you have them. Um, okay, and here's the other piece. Um, from a point... Uh, well, do you see what this looks like? Doesn't this look like an ice cream cone to you? Um, I don't know if you've ever really thought about what's going on with a cone, but you know how a cone is really triangular, and then it's actually, if you really stop and think of it, it's kind of an isosceles triangle, that, that shape that you get. Uh, that's what happens right here. From the outside of a circle, the two congruent, or the two tangent segments are congruent. So this is a point outside the circle. From here, I can only draw two segments that are tangent. Right? I, if I drew it this direction, it would be a secant. If I drew it this way, it would not intersect at all. AC and AB are the only two segments that we could draw that are tangents. And what our theorem says is that if they are tangent segments, both drawn from that tangent, well, they're congruent. And that's it. So from any point outside, there's only exactly two tangent segments, and they're going to be congruent. So as a result, we end up with even some of these questions are even easier. Um, so if these are tangent segments, PW and QW, they're congruent. It's that easy. 
3x minus 6 equals x plus 10. Solved, you get 8. Ta-da! Like, it feels like this is too easy. Maybe it is. Um, example D is a little bit less easy, um, at least at first, perhaps. Um, this asks for two things. It asks for what is x equal? We need to know what this segment right here equals. And we need the perimeter, which would be easy if we knew what this side over here is. Hmm. Well, all three of these points, one, two, and three, are points outside the triangle. Therefore, uh, and then this um, circle is inscribed within the triangle. These are tangent uh, points of tangency there, one, two, and three. So we end up with a bunch of congruent tangent segments. So it's the same um, thing as we're talking here about here at the top of the page. So therefore, if this is 14, well, so is that. Well, that, that's helpful. Okay. And if this is 18, well, then so is this piece right here. And if that's 18, then we can figure out what this piece is. The whole piece is 26. 26 minus 18, what's left? That's 8. And so if that is 8, that is also 8. We need congruent segments there. So x is 8, and the perimeter, we can add up all those pieces. 80 is the answer. All right. Um, you give it a try with these four. See how you do. Numbers 5 and 7 are like example B. Number 6 is like example C. Number 8, well, what type of triangle would you get right here? Uh, is that a right angle? Well, only if that's a uh, radius or a diameter. No, the center would be here. That is not a right angle. Think about it. Would that be, if that was a right angle, that was a right angle. 90 plus 90 plus something, that's more than 180. Can't be. Well, anyway, here are the answers. This is an isosceles triangle. Those are congruent angles. That's how that works. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If not, come ask questions. We'll help you. Get some rest. See you. Bye.